Hello everybody, this is Superfang99. Before we begin, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. It really helps out the channel. With that out of the way, today we are going to be continuing the Forgotten Age with Heart of the Elders Part 2. Alright, let's just get on into it. Let's start with our opening hands. Finn will draw the Devil, God damn it, Mauser, Amnesia, which you can't draw. Uh, Lonnie, 18 Derringer, and Trenchcoat. Well, huh, I think I keep the whole hand. Oh, I need money. Oh, I really need money. Hmm. Oh, no. I really need money. So, let's see. If we play the Devil and then the Derringer, uh, do I really get rid of these? The Mauser is so good. So is Lonnie, and so is Trenchcoat. Mm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it all. <laughs> I'm being too greedy. Uh, maybe I'll draw into some economy. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll draw into economy. The the curse. All right, Ursula got Witten Green Divination Pathfinder Jake Williams and the other Divination. That's Jesus Christ. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm just gonna toss Jake Williams because he sucks. Janae. Oh my God, <laughs> this hand. If only I could play the hand, that would be even more sick. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the story. Pretty small setup. You descend down miles of steep, cold stone. The tunnels are chokingly narrow at first, filled with rubble and detritus. Finally, you reach level ground, and the cavern's true nature reveals itself before you. It is as though there was, an, there was an entire world below the surface. The cavern's ceiling is like a stone curtain of sky above you. Even more vast and terrifying are the endless depths below you, beyond the edges of stone chasms and archaic bridges. On all sides, the under this underground realm seems to, be, seems to extend beyond the boundary of your sight. You wonder just how far it reaches. Perhaps the entirety of the known surface of the Earth is but the top layer of another world. All right, to gather all cards from the following encounter sets. Kenyan, Heart of the Elders, Agents of Yig, Yig's Venom, Forgotten Ruins, Deadly Traps, and Poison. These sets are indicated by the following icons. So we have Kenyan... Heart of the Elders, Agents of Yig, Yig's Venom, Forgotten Ruins, Deadly Traps, and Poison. Put the Mouth of Kenyon into play. The depths beneath side face up. Each investigator begins play at the Mouth of Kenyon, depth, uh, Mouth of Kenyon, the depths beneath. And here is that location. Search the collection for each card listed in parentheses next to the jungle watches in your campaign log. Add those cards at the victory display. We didn't have any of those in the last scenario, so we are fine. So, uh, set the Descent to Yoth location aside out of play. Here is our Descent to Yoth. Create the Exploration Deck. This is done by taking the five remaining single-sided locations from the Kenyan Encounter Set and shuffling those together, along with one copy each of the following encounter cards. Pitfall, No Turning Back, Deep Dark, and Final Mistake. Alright, so here are our five locations. And those four treacheries. Set aside each poison weakness, shuffle the remaining counter cards, and then we are now ready to begin. All right, I'm going to go shuffle all this up and be right back. And we are now ready to begin. Our agenda, the Lonely Caverns. Though much of the cavern system is natural and untouched by humans, you are stunned to find signs of an ancient civilization that once inhabited the area. As an action, if there are no clues on your location, explore. Connecting location, move to it. Forced, when this agenda advances, do not remove Doom from each location in play. Seven Doom Threshold. So yes, this exploration is a little bit different. We need to um, uh, actually have no clues on the location. Cavern of the Forgotten Age. The vast underground caverns of Kenyan are cold and all too quiet. Scattered forsaken ruins lie undisturbed along your path to the nexus of Nikai. What happened in this ancient and forgotten place? Were these ruins once occupied by humans or by a species far, far older? I need six clues to advance. Playing on standard difficulty, we have two skulls, which are a minus one, minus three instead of your cave location, which is going to be the entirety of this scenario. We have three ta sorry, three cultists, which are a minus two. If you fail, place a doom in your location. If we, and we have one Elder thing, which is a minus three. If you fail, take a horror. That cultist can be pretty bad in this specific scenario. We are starting at the mouth of Kenyon, the depths beneath side. 
two shroud, one per clues. As an action, check your supplies. If you have a map, uh, look at the top two cards of the exploration deck. Discard each treachery looked at by this effect shuffle the exploration deck. So same thing as the uh, second scenario. Even the enormous size of the cavern entrance pales in, com in comparison with the vastness of the depths below. And so we will need to get these two clues before we move on. <clears throat> Finn, uh, play the devil. And I think, honestly, gain a resource, then play the Mauser. The Mauser is just better than the Derringer at this point, I think. At least comparably. That's your turn, Finn. Ursula. Oh, we have such good cards in hand. Oh, my God. Do I just play Janae? I mean, she's so good. <laughs> or I can play Divination and just start doing things. Yeah, let's do it. We'll play Divination and actually progress the game. Let's investigate four, five, six to uh, fix six to two. So we actually cannot succeed by zero. It's actually impossible for us to succeed by zero. Minus two. That is good. We'll spend two charges. Get both clues. Uh, do I want to explore? Yes. Yes. Third, third action, explore. Uh, deep dark. Perfect timing. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's so good. Okay, let's go to upkeep. Finn will draw. Ooh, a payday. Wait, actually, that's sick. That might, that actually might be able to save us. Ursula will say, oh my god, and you got near, Jesus, my economy actually is working. Albeit, that was a very, very lucky draw. <laughs> I will say, end around if this goes back. Okay, one doom out of seven. Finn will draw. Creeping poison. Gain surge. No one has poisoned. Pitfall. Okay. Uh, he is four to three. Actually, well, actually, that's a question. Yes, we will, we will choose to, uh, Actually, I don't think I've read this before. That's right. Peril. Pitfall. Revelation. You must either choose one. Test three agility to attempt to, to attempt to jump the gap for each point you fail by take a damage. Or shuffle it into the exploration deck. And you cannot choose this option if it was from the exploration deck. I'm going to just test it. We're going four to three. Oh, okay. We fail by two. So we will take two damage and a horror. Which is not the best. But I think we will be okay. We have Lonnie and the, the trench coat in her hand. Ursula will draw Curse of Yig. All right. She gets minus one health. Okay. Finn is going to... Yeah. Finn, <laughs> Finn is going to gain two resources and then play a payday to gain three more. So he'll have a total of six resources on him. <clears throat> and that's just going to be his turn. Next turn, we'll just play everything. Ursula, you are going to play e cash into Jeanne Beauregard and explore last action. Sure. Uh, yes, that does match. Dark Hollow. Three shroud, one precludes. After Dark Hollow enters play, check your supplies. If no investigator has a map, place one per additional clues on Dark Hollow. Well, we don't have a map, so yeah. The throat of the cavern extends for miles, and you cannot help but feel as though you are descending into the belly of a great beast. Victory one. That's over there. So we need an additional two clues. <clears throat> Ursula will use her reaction to investigate. Oh. <laughs> I guess that works. Yes, we will also gene the clue back over. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I, sh I should have another charge on Divination. Uh, we're investigating Divination 4, 5, 6, 7 to 3. Again, we cannot succeed by 0. Minus 2. We will spend 3 charges, because that's the most we can do. We get all 3 of these clues. Alrighty. Actually, that gives us clues to advance new soon, so that's actually also good. Let's go to upkeep. Finn will draw a you handle this one. Gain a resource. Ursula will draw burning the midnight oil. That's also great economy. Gain a resource. All right. Two doom out of seven. Finn's encounter card is a final mistake. 
uh, uh, only there's no doom on his location. So we're going four to two. Four to two. Ooh, minus five. All right, we will take two damage. It's getting a little tough, but hopefully we'll be able to play Lonnie in just a sec. Ursula will draw. Poisonous Sporus. All right, she needs to leave. Let's have Ursula go first. She is going to explore. Yep. So we're looking for a square and circle. Square. Hall of Idolatry. Three Shroud, two Perclues. Forced. After you put Hall of Idolatry into play by successfully exploring, check campaign log. If there are five or more ta tally marks in under Yig's Fury, uh, yes, we have six tally marks. Draw the top card of the encounter deck. Okay. We would draw two cards if there were five or more. After you put it into a play, so that actually happens first. And so we will do this before we take our investigate. It is a creeping poison, which surges into a serpent from Yoth. That is unfortunate. However, yes, after we move, because we put into play and then move to it, we will trigger Janae. This guy's not elite, so we will move him back here. Janae is busted. And then we will investigate with burning the men at oil. Gaining two resources. And that puts us at four, five to three. Uh, we will fail that, unfortunately. But that's okay. We get a horror for drawing the Elder Thing and failing. And I believe that that was all her first action. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> so, second action, I think, is going to play the other divination. And then third action, we'll investigate with it. Four, five, six, seven, seven to three. Minus two is enough. Spend three charges. Get three clues. And I'll advance next turn, I think. Yeah. Okay, Finn. Uh, yeah. Two actions. Play these two assets because we need to have some soak right now. Third action. Oh. Hmm. Basically, I have to hope that Ursula is going to be okay. Or I start with just playing one of them. That would also do it. So yeah, I'm going to start by just playing. Hmm. No, I think I'm actually going to stay up here, unfortunately. And just gain a resource last action. It's a little spooky, but I think Ursula should be fine. Yeah. Okay, this guy does not have Hunter because there's no Vengeance Points. And so we will go to upkeep. Finn is going to draw. Quick thinking. That is going to be good. I think that will be very, very useful. Ursula is going to draw Jake Williams. Okay. Three, do him out of seven. <clears throat> Finn will draw Ancestral Fear. Uh, we'll put a Doom on his location. Gain Surge. Or it has Surge. Serpent's Call. Well, he'll draw the top two cards in the encounter deck, which will be... The first one is Entombed. Cannot move or disengage with enemies. That is just great. Uh... Ursula, you handle that one. <laughs> yeah, it's actually totally fine if Ursula has that. Finn gets a resource from that. And then the second card from the Serpent's Call is Final Mistake again, which is fine because now we have some soak for that. We are four to f three. That's fine. Skull's a minus three. Okay, we'll take two more damage. Put the damage on our soak. Okay, that was all Finn's card. Then Ursula draws. No turning back. Revelation, attached to your location or connecting location. Limit one per location. Investigators cannot enter or leave attached location. As an action, test three combat or check your supplies. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, this uh, poisonous spore should have discarded last turn. Uh, if you succeed or, or if you have a pickaxe, discard no turning back. Any investigator connecting location may activate this ability. 
Uh, well, Ursula has some pickaxe. Has a pickaxe, which is why I got it for her. So she'll be probably doing that. Okay. Um, I think we will advance. See what's up. Yeah, let's do it. Ursula will spend her six clues. And we will advance. In circles. With every few landmarks to spot along the dark and lonely tunnels, you must rely on your wits and, nav and navigational... And nav... What? It's just navigation? Yeah. And navigation skills to make your way forward without getting lost. If only you had an easy way to mark the places you have vi already visited. Uh, shovel descent in into Yoth, into the encounter... Sorry, into the exploration deck. The investigator chooses one investigator to be the group's scout. That investigator checks their supplies. So I believe Ursula also needs to be the scout this time as well. Because if the scout has chalk, which she does, you are able to avoid traveling in circles. The scout suffers no ill effects. Otherwise, you would place clues on every location. And then we'd shuffle locations back into thing. Ugh, that's spooky. Anyway, we're good. Descent into dark. The deeper you descend into the cold darkness, the more you feel the crushing weight of the world above and the dizzying reality of the world further below. You suddenly long for the surface and wonder if you will ever, ever see the sky again. Objective, if each surviving investigator is at the descent to Yoth and there is no doom on it, you may advance. You may advance. Interesting. Okay. Still a shuffling. All right. I think Ursula is going to go first. She is going to take an action to just get rid of this. Uh, she's then going to investigate with this divination. Four, five, six, seven to three. Skull is a minus three. We'll get the clue. Spending the last charge on it. And then final action. I think he will. she will try and test this in tune. We are going five to four. Please don't draw a cultist. A zero will do. All right, Finn. Time to kill this guy. First action, move. Do we bother evading it? There's really no point to evade it. We have two actions. We have three actions of quick thinking. Okay, let's just do it. Uh, we're going to attack with the Mauser. Three, four, five, six. We're going to commit the quick thinking to go seven. Seven to three. We need to succeed by two on this. Um, cultist. Okay. That's, that's fine. Two, right? Three. Four, five, six. Sorry, three, four, five, six, seven with a quick thinking. That's right. So we succeed by two and deal two damage. And we ready the mouser. That's what's that's the important part. Okay, let's go again. Just six to three this time. Minus two. Okay. Uh we cannot ready the mouser then. So we may just have to punch. This is our fourth action because of quick thinking. We're punching four to three. Which is a little tough, but that's what's going to have to happen. Okay, well, I'll take that. Wow, I'm getting very, very lucky. You could have just evaded it afterwards anyway, so it's fine. It just affects our tempo a little bit. Okay, let's go to upkeep. Finn will draw. You handle this one. Ursula will draw Alejandro Vela. These are all ancient locations. Okay. Uh, four, five, Doom out of seven. Finn will draw a Deep Dark, which is fine. Ursula will draw an Entombed. Another one. Okay. Okay. Uh, Finn, you're going to take an action to move. You're also going to take an action to play the Derringer. And then you're going to explore. Looking for a heart or a circle. Nope. 
circle, which is unfortunate because it goes back up. Uh, as an additional here, sorry. As an additional cost to explore while at vast passages, check your supplies. If an investigator's location has binoculars, if no investigator's location has binoculars, you must spend an additional action. The scale of these caverns is dizzying. It is truly a world of its own. Okay, so that goes back there, but I want him to come back. And that, in fact, actually goes up to the top as well. Actually connects to all of them. Uh, what did Finn do? He played the Derringer. Wait, what did he do? Did he did he do something else other than play the Derringer? I don't think so. Huh. So I guess I'll just move back. Yeah. No, that's right. He drew the deep dark from the exploit. No, that was from that was his encounter card. Okay. Third action move back. I need to shuffle this back in. Okay. Well we know that if we explore from here, we'll get to the end. Which I'm actually just fine if we end it right now. Two victory, three victory. It's not bad. Could get more, but I don't really want to get that greedy. Anyway, uh, Entomb, let's test it. We are four, five to four. Nope, okay, five to three. Yes. Uh, third action invest. Uh, third action explore. I guess. Now we're looking just for hearts. Nope. Uh, final mistake. Okay. Uh, to agility it says a plus one blah, 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 whatever. So we're five to two. Okay. Five to two it is. Oh, I guess we could get more victory. We have so much time. We just need to get the clues off of vast passages, which will be fine. Uh, that's minus two. We're good. So that's it. Okay. That was a very boring turn. Upkeep. Nothing happened. Finn will draw a trench coat. Another one. Ursula will draw Tooth of Esley. Uh, se se uh, five, six out of seven. Doom. Finn will draw a pitfall. Sure, he'll test that. Oh, that's a well. Yeah, we'll commit the trench coat to go four, five to three. Really? Okay. All right, we'll take that. <clears throat> Ursula will draw snake scourge. No items. That's fine. <sighs> Do we go for it? How long? We, we've been here for 23 minutes. Uh, I mean, I guess we just, we could. I guess we will. Okay, fine. Ursula's going to go first. She's going to move. She's going to trigger Janae to move this clue up here. And then she will investigate with her reaction. She's going four, five to two. Good for me. Cultist minus two. Get this clue. Second action, explore. Looking for uh, diamond and moon. Diamond. Perilous Gulch. Uh, after you fail a skill test while investigating Perilous Gulch, check your supplies. If no investigator at this location has rope, place a doom on Perilous Gulch. Along a dark chasm, the path winds and twists. Serpent statues with rearing heads are poised to strike as you pass. Victory one. Four shroud, one fur. <clears throat> uh, third action, investigate with divination. So we are four, five, six, seven to four. I don't want to fail. So I will commit... 
Jake Williams. Nine to four. Minus two. Two charges, two clues. Okay. I guess I'm getting a little greedy, but that's how it is. And a turn, this goes around. Oh, that's not the end of our round, but it's fine. Okay. Finn is going to go. He might just explore and meet up with her, or he could follow her. I think it would probably be better if he followed her, I think. Yeah. One, two, explore. Looking for moon. There it is. Crystal Pillars. Uh, one Shroud. Two per clues. Forced after you... Please. Please. Hello. Can you please focus? There we go. After you enter Crystal Pillars, test Willpower 1. This test gets plus one difficulty for each point, vengeance point in the victory display. If you fail, take a damage and a horror. Enormous white crystals pierce through the tunnel, sending reflections of light across the walls and ceiling. Victory 1. <clears throat> uh, so he needs to test one all which I guess is fine please that was an auto fail okay we'll take a damage I'm going to put the horror on Lonnie and then spend it to uh, spend a resource and a damage on the trench coat and that was one, two, three. And that's it. Okay, let's go to upkeep. Finn is going to draw contraband. That's good. And a resource. Ursula will draw a shortcut. That's also very good. That'll be just good for tempo, I think. Uh, we will advance. Do not remove Doom from play. Or sorry, on locations in play, I mean. Serpent's Revenge. A, the Harbinger is indeed still alive. From the entrance far behind you, a threatening hiss and, all, and an all-too-familiar rattling causes you to freeze in terror. You grip the nearest weapon you can find and turn in fright, hands trembling. How has it followed you this far? When will this awful hunt end? Uh, search for the Harbinger of... Where did I put the Harbinger of Valusia? <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm dumb. I know where, I know where to go. Uh... Spawn at the location farthest from all investigators. If there are eight or more, whatever. We would not. Do, we would put it the lead investigation. Anyway, um, put it with damage. There's no damage on it. Okay, so one and one, two. So one, two, and one, two. Or one, two, and one, two. So actually, I guess we'll put it at the Hall of Idolatry. Actually, I think we'll put it Dark Hollow because I am planning to get to here this turn. So that leads it further. And that's still a total of four away. And this would still be a total of four. Eyes in the dark. Bright yellow eyes peer at you from all sides as you continue delving deeper into the cavern. The glowing orbs vanish as light is cast on them, reappearing as soon as the darkness returns. Same uh, in the same explore action. 12 plus 2 doom, so 14 doom threshold. And counter cards. For Finn, we have a brood of Yig. And for Ursula, we have a no turning back. Uh, I'll put it at a connecting location. And I'll just put it at the mouth of Kenyon. Enter or leave. Yep, okay. That's a fan. Okay, let's have Ursula go first. Yep. So she's going to play a shortcut into the Crystal Pillars. She will test four to three. Sorry, four to one. Fail, so she'll take a damage and a horror. That's fine. She will use her reaction to investigate with this divination. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven to one. Calls this, yep. So we'll spend one charge, one clue. And actually, also, she will use Janae to shunt one of the clues over there. So we have one less one to deal with. Okay, that was all fast. Let's investigate twice. Four, five to one. Yes. 
one more. And yes. Uh, and then, I guess she'll explore. Yeah, let's do it. So we're looking specifically for heart. Or that. No turning back. So we'll put that here. Okay. That's fine. Finn, you're going to kill this guy. Yep. Shoot with the Mauser. Three, four, five, six. Six to two. No vengeance points. Elder sign. Well, we won't get a clue here. That's fine. That is two damage. And we will also ready and gain a resource because we succeeded by four. Uh, and then we'll shoot with the Derringer this time. Three, four, five, six to two. Cultus is good. It is dead. And let's explore. Yeah, we're looking for heart. Pitfall. Okay. Uh, we're testing four to three. Uh, ugh. I think uh, Ursula is going to commit her Pathfinder to go five, five to three. Uh, that succeeds. Good. Okay. That's actually good. And that was their turns. Right? Shoot, shoot, explore. Shortcut, move, investigate, 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 explore. Yep. Okay, hunters. So this is the closest. One, two. One, two, three, yep. And let's go to upkeep. Finn will draw friends in low places. Ursula will draw a Eon chart. That is good. Two Doom out of 14. Finn's encounter card is an ill omen. Uh, location with investigator placed a Doom on that location. Each investigator that location takes a horror has to be this one. Each of them will take a horror, which is totally fine. And Ursula will draw poisonous spores. Well, we're hopefully leaving here, so that's probably good. <clears throat> okay. Let's uh, let's have Ursula explore, I think. Yeah. It's literally the last card. <laughs> that's hilarious. Actually, no, yes. Ur uh, Ursula will explore. The depths of... The depths... Hello, please. Depths descent to you. Three shrouds, zero clues. Force. After it enters play, each investigator must either place a doom on descent to you or draw the top two cards of the encounter deck. As a reaction, after you successfully investigate descent to you, instead of discovering clues, you may flip one doom on descent to you to its clue side. Vengeance to victory to you. Uh, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we're they're both gonna put doom on the on the place. It's the not fun way, but it's the way that I'm doing it. She's then gonna take her reaction. That is very interesting. Actually, no, it's not. So this is a this is a weird weird rules thing, but I think this is how this works. Divination. I could investigate with divination. However, Descent to Yacht specifically says instead of discovering clues, and you actually only discover clues if you spend the is if you spend one, two, or three charges. I think. I think. Uh, it's the it's definitely a grim rule to say grim rule that I cannot use the divination to to clear to get the doom off of the descent to Yacht, but that's how it's gonna have to be. Anyway, I'm investigating normally. I am four, five to three. Uh, sure. I'll commit wind green. Six to three. Elder sign. I'm not going to move. Okay. That was all first action. Second action. Investigate again. Five to three. Uh, ah, fine. Second action. I'll play Alejandro Vader. So I get plus one. 
And I guess also third action, I'll play an Eon chart. And then use the Eon chart to investigate. And now we're four, five, six to three. And we will get rid of that Doom. Finn could technically finish this. <laughs> Fascinating. Let's see what you got, Finn. Move. Investigate. Four. Five, six. <laughs> to three. That's pretty good. Yeah, because all we need to do is just get... Oh, that's right. Technically, we could advance right now. But I'm going to try and get these clues off. I want the victory. I, I, I want the victory. Skull is a minus three. We'll get it. Uh, Last action. Do it. That's another six to three. It's everything except the minus five in the other field. Oh, and we lost it. All right, well. We'll have to wait one more turn. Okay, hunters. Let's have this guy move over here. And then end of round or first upkeep. Finn will draw a dirty fighting. Finally. I haven't had dirty fighting in a while. Ursula will draw another Tooth of Esley. And then end of round. This will go away. Three Doom out of 14. Finn will draw another Poisonous Force. And then Ursula will draw Fang of Yig. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's just have uh, Finn gauge the Fang. Evade the Fang. It actually, literally, I'm actually just going to pass. No, yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Uh, we're five to three. Yep. Uh... I'm not going to test it because the cultists could cause me to fail this. So uh, Finn's done. Ursula, you're going to investigate four, five. Sorry, you're investigating with the Eon chart. Four, five, six, six to three. You literally have to fail all three of these in order to not win. There we go. And we will advance. All right, smooth. Yep, each of our investigators at the Descent to Yoth and there is new do no doom on it. To Yoth. Before you lies an ornate and elaborately decorated doorway. A stone disc that has been rolled aside to unveil the hellish realm beyond. The caverns on either side are bathed in a red glow. The serpent-themed statues are carvings and carvings along the walls inform you that you are on the right track. Check campaign log. If the investigators rescued Alejandro, which we did, R1. Ooh, okay. Pretty clean. R1. Finally! Yoth, Cavern of the Serpents! The cursed ones who fled the destruction of Velusia. Alejandro examines the entryway with wonder in his eyes, arms raised in exultation. You know not of what he speaks, and you are beginning to grow wor worried. Just then, something scutters behind you and a sound like a click clacking of a claw clack catches you by surprise. Emerging from the darkness behind you are several alien creatures, the likes of which you have never seen. Ten feet tall with conical bodies that end in four strange appendages of varying lengths. There you are, Alejandro says calmly. One of the creatures responds by clicking its claws against one another in a deliberate pattern. Take their minds, Alejandro commands the creatures. We have no further use for them. It is your last human memory. If the Harbinger, whatever, it's fine. They're they're away. Vengeance points. So there are two vengeance in the victory display because the two vengeance on the Descent to Yoth. So we have ATX Fury right now. And each of us earns victory X, which is actually going to be a lot. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On top of the four that we had from last scenario makes 11. And, I believe, yeah, proceed to Scenario 7, 6, the City of Archives. 
Wow. Okay. That was super clean. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to clean this up. And I'm not going to forget this time. We're going to do upgrades with 11 XP. I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay. So they both had 11 experience to spend. Uh, which is a lot. So there were some tough choices. Especially because this next scenario is going to be a little bit weird. However uh let's start with finn so finn is going to purchase two beretta m119 sorry m1918 um it's a big gun kind of that was my end goal for this deck play the big guns and um yeah should be good with the other three experience i'm going to dump that into friends in low places um first for helpful and second for versatile, choosing Ida. So this is for two reasons. One, Finn is having some money troubles, I think. And so having a second trait that if it's both an illicit add -in and an item, that he doesn't have to spend a resource to draw it is good. And then I added helpful because then Ursula could search for items in her deck as well. Um, the reason I didn't do something like talent or trick is because uh, Ursula doesn't have any of those. All right, that's Finn. For Ursula, oh, I'm sorry, I also should mention, uh, Finn is getting rid of these two hatchet men to do that. Ursula has a limited experience, so she's going to purchase her second copy of Jeanne Beauregard, and then she'll spend the rest of the eight experience upgrading her two skills, perception and deduction, um, because reasons. Um, so as I said, those are upgrades, and then she's going to get rid of one Tooth of Esley. Um, to be fair, the Tooth of Esley has actually been working out pretty well, but um, eventually those are going to become um, Eon Charts anyway. Okay, well, that is that scenario. That also went very, very smoothly. Um, let's hope the next scenario goes as smoothly, if you know what I mean. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. It really helps out the channel. This has been Superfang99, signing off.